guys, it's me, Tail Man, also as happy I prefer. And uh, it's been almost a month now. Um, what can I, I can't really, yeah. Um, recently I've just been pretty burnt out and I've been on a slight hiatus for a bit. And uh, I'm back now and I finally finished up my biggest project I think I've ever made um, out of paper. Uh, cardboard's a different story. Uh, <laughs> Um, it was, this was originally supposed to be my 4,000 subscriber special, uh, video, but, uh, you know, some work picked up a little bit as well, and, uh, you know, been busy with trying to, uh, uh, apply for school and all that, so basically a lot of things are happening, but now I finally, things have died down a bit, and I finally got back to, uh, getting a chance to start working on this, mainly because my, uh, well, pretty much my, uh, my friend just kept, uh, telling me to, uh, finish their gun, because, uh, well, they're, uh, they're tired of seeing me making up excuses, so <laughs> if you guys have seen this, uh, thank you for uh, kicking me in the butt to uh, get back to working on this gun. And then I finally finished, uh, here we go. <sighs> you guys, this is uh, one of my biggest projects out of paper, probably my most ambitious as well, but uh, here we go. This, you guys, is the homemade Gatling gun. <laughs> So, you're probably wondering, why did I make this? Well, I figured why not. So, uh, so yeah, this is the Gatling gun I made out of paper. And in case you're wondering, I have no idea if this is the actual size. Uh, it looked like it was pretty small in the pictures. And, uh, well, I don't know. Um, this version is the original one where the crank handle was on the right side rather than the back, like a more modern or more newer models of the Gatling gun. I think they're called the Bulldog, uh, but those only have six barrels. Uh, the thing about this gun, it has ten barrels. The original Gatling guns had ten barrels, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, let me just show you. I kind of the barrels kind of got crumpled up throughout the time. I would spin the barrel, but the gun is loaded, as you can see. There we go. The gun holds about 20 rounds in this gravity-fed magazine because that's how the real uh, Gatling guns were. They were gravity-fed. People would feed bullets as you were firing this thing. But unfortunately, there's an issue that there's only one of me, and usually there's at least four people around these guns. When these were active, you know, one would load, one would fire, and the other rest would do all the other things this gun would need because it was a big carriage it was on. But that's the issue. Um, the original Gatling guns were, in fact, uh, mounted on uh, carts, and uh, unfortunately, I didn't have enough paper, let alone uh, time, to make a cart just for this thing. So I tried to make a tripod. Happened. <laughs> and unfortunately, that didn't work either because I literally only have five sheets of paper left because it all went to this thing. This thing is a behemoth. This thing weighs like a pound or two, and this is all just paper. I'm mean, just a little bit of cardboard because. Uh, or my earlier version of this gun, the barrels would bind so bad they wouldn't even turn because of the mechanism here, which is basically just a spring. And um, it wouldn't work, so I had to use some cardboard. I'm sorry, you guys, I had to cheat a little bit, but um, to make this work. And now it does, but technically it's cardboard and paper now. So anyway, this was the um, tripod meant to hold the gun, like this, as so. Fortunately, this thing is weak because I only had so much pieces of paper left. But now I'm gonna have to find a use for this thing because I don't want this to go to waste. So uh, yeah. So, I decided to defy all sorts of possible practical logic, and since the Gatling gun was normally meant to be, uh, you know, mounted on a cart or somewhere in place somewhere, I decided to make this one man portable. Now, I realize that would be pretty hard because Gatling guns back then were like 500 pounds, I believe. So, <laughs> unless, you know, the Terminator, this would probably be hard to mount, uh, hand mount, but, you know, I guess I might. I have to admit, I kind of was inspired by a Bioshock Infinite, you know, with that chain gun they call it, even though it's a Gatling gun technically. But, you know, I decided to uh, emulate that. Uh, before I get any further, there are sights on this gun. They are on the side, here and there. Because, you know, since, you know, the magazine is kind of in the middle of the gun, it's kind of hard to aim through the middle of the gun, so they have to offset it to the right, I believe. And um, I'm not going to bother lining the sights because the peephole is super tiny. But I'll try anyway. There you go. Well, that's pretty much the sights. Uh, not much to it. So, um, there are a few uh, differentiations I have to make to the gun. 
when I get to that later. Right now, let's shoot this thing. So, so here we go. If you don't believe me, this thing actually works. Um, I'm gonna crank the handle, and also the ejection port for the gun is right there. Like on the real one, it's on the bottom here, so any gen, uh, uh, spent casings will eject through the bottom. And there we go. So let's hold it. Here we go. Three, two, one. I'm gonna try and go slow for this so you can actually see the barrel spinning. There you go. I hope you can see the bullets. <laughs> it's not really that interesting. I mean, because it's uh, pretty slow firing. As you can see, uh, it all it fed all the rounds there. It all it's all gone now, and it all ejected through the bottom as you can see here. But now that it's empty. Um, uh, sorry, sometimes a bullet likes to get lodged in here. It's paper, so. So now that it's empty, I can show you the actual mechanic. So basically, you turn this, and the barrel should turn, like a Gatling gun should, and it does turn! So there you go. And, um, this is pretty much it. This is all the gun does. And then, uh, usually, you know, if you want to keep firing, someone would be loading, uh, uh, bullet to the top, but unfortunately I don't exactly have a crew of people, <laughs> so I'm gonna have to reload this thing off screen if I could. And um, in case you're wondering why the magazine shakes, because in real life it actually does shake when you fire it, so so you know there's a little bit of realism there. That's about it. So uh, that's it. This is the Gatling gun. I decided to dip around a bit. This is a little speed loader I made. You just uh, stick it in the magazine. Now this is not how you really load the Gatling gun, but then again, you know, I'm just one person, so I'm not exactly a crew served uh, placement here. So I pull up the tab, shake out the rounds. Boom! Another 20. Ready to go. So, uh, let's see how fast I can just fire this thing. Ugh. Ready? Steady. Go. Go. That's all 20 rounds expended out of this gun. Um, made a mess. Um, I'm gonna eject it a few more times, but here we go. So that's pretty much it. That's the Gatlin gun. A uh, little bit of a not exactly uh, the most uh, convenient thing to use because you have to crank it, crank that. Um, but you know, it's a derivative of the modern day minigun, so there's that. So, there we go. This was my biggest project I've ever made out of paper. This was uh, intended for my 4,000 subscriber special. And uh, sorry, I was so late, you guys. I've been burnt out lately, but now I'm back in the swing of things, and uh, I'm gonna start making more guns again. And uh, well, after I get some more paper, like I said, I only have five sheets of paper left, so that's gonna be an issue. <laughs> but I will be able to figure that out later. So there we go. This is the Gatling gun. Well, let me see if I can load a few rounds. The reason why I didn't want to, I might as well show you, uh, I did, uh, yeah, sometimes they bounce and they don't like to land the right way, so, so that's the issue here, but that's about it. This is the, this is horrible. I'm going to load it one more time just for the fun of it, give me a second. This thing is not exactly the most funnest thing to load, but, you know, just for the sake of uh, the factor of just saying I have a paper Gatling gun, I decided to deal with it. So, there we go. So there's about 23 rounds in here, so uh, there we go. Um, not much to say about it, you can't exactly put attachments on this thing. It's not exactly uh, tactical. <laughs> oh man, anyway, this is the Gatling gun. <laughs> and uh, yeah, might as well show you the thing before I end it here again. That uh, you can actually see the rounds as you load it. <laughs> That's like my favorite part. And yes, on the real gun, there's actually slits like here, so you can see how many rounds were remaining. Although not exactly practical because the shadows might get dirt in there. I mean, it was pretty cool to see the gun. Uh, you know, see how much ammo he had on the spot. So there we go. Uh, not much to say about this Gatling gun. Uh, 
it's just, you know, it's Gatling gun. There's not much I can say about it. It's, it's a big gun that shoots a lot of bullets. And uh, doesn't exactly have a bell fed mechanism yet. At least, not this version. And uh, maybe down the line I can make a cardboard version where everything's cardboard, but then, you know, instead of paper, everything's cardboard. And, you know, and maybe things will be a lot more smooth operating. Because paper, I mean, it's great, but it's not exactly the most structurally superb uh, material. So, yeah. <laughs> Now let's just say again, uh, just a cardboard, I don't know, paper, and technically a little bit of cardboard, a uh, Gatling gun. And uh, this is probably one of my more uh, ambitious builds. Let me just set this thing down. And there we go. Whew. Hope you guys uh, like the Gatling gun. I don't know why I put it down in the first place. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, be sure to let me know of any more guns. Do you have any suggestions? And yes, I did. Uh, write down most of your guys' suggestions, so I should get to work on that if I can get some more paper later. So there we go. That is the paper gallon gun. My biggest build out of paper yet. Who knows, I might make something even bigger than this. Who knows, uh, down the line. <laughs> and uh, that's about it. So, this has been uh, one of my more favorite builds, mainly because of the fact it's a paper gallon gun and not much uh, not much reason or rhyme behind it. So there we go. My name is Tim Man. I was happy to refer. As always, you guys. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> Be chill. <laughs>